Hello, my name is Leo Darcy and I'm one of the developers of the Power On Platform's Always On VPN Dynamic Profile Creation Tool, or DPC for short. In this video, I'll be taking you through the initial installation of the DPC agent and initial root policy configuration. In later videos, we'll look more in depth at VPN profile creation. To start, I have a 64-bit Windows 10 Enterprise device running 1909. However, any version later than 1803 should work. As part of the purchase, you'll be provided with the latest version of the DPC installer, which I've already downloaded and placed on my desktop, and a unique product key which will be used to enable the service. So to get started, we'll just launch the AOVPN DPC installer. This is a simple next, next, next installer where you can specify the install path and let it install. As this is an MSI, uh, MSI exec and standard silent installation um, parameters will also work. With that installed, all logging will go to the standard Windows event logs. Once the event logs have loaded, you can go to application and services logs and you should find power on AOVPN DPC service and then you'll see at least admin and operational logs. So to get started with configuration, what we'll need to do is add the ADMX files from the install location into group policy. If you are using um, a lo local, um, local location to access your policy definitions, that is under C, Windows, Policy Definitions. And if you're using a central store, that will be in your standard sysfold location under policies and then you'll have a policy definitions folder here. You'll notice that there is a policy definitions folder within the install location with power on dpc.admx and power on dpc.adml under the enus folder. We're just going to copy them both into the sysfold location and I'm going to replace them as I had older versions already within the um, within the location. Once that's been completed, we can open up group policy management. And then under my OU, I'm going to create a new group policy. I'm going to call it DPC configuration demo. And then we're going to edit the policy. Now all AOVPN, sorry, all DPC configuration is actually done at the, U, the computer configuration level, even the user tunnel. So we're just going to disable user configuration as per good practice. Then under policies, administrative templates, we're then going to select AOVPN dynamic profile creation client. And at this top level, we've got um, a number of options. We've got product key, which we're going to enter. And then we're also going to enable logging of VPN connections. And we can also configure things like how often the client will refresh and whether to clear existing profiles, although we're not going to touch any of those at this time. So with those settings configured, we're going to close group policy and we're going to run a group policy update on this device.
We're then going to launch services.msc. And locate the uh, service, which is Power on Air VPN DPC service. As you can see, now running. This may not necessarily be running on the first launch as the service automatically shuts down if a product key is not available. If that is the case, you can simply right click on it and select start. We can then go into the event logs and verify that the service is now operating successfully. So in this video, we've gone through how to install and set up the service. In the next videos, we'll go through configuring both the user and device tunnels, as well as rolling it out into production. If you need any further assistance, check support.poweronplatforms.com for additional help guides or speak to your Power on Platforms account manager uh, about our training and consultancy services.